Okay, Dave Call here. Let's do some basic particle systems with a pop network. Now the first thing we need to do is tab in a geometry node. There it is. And this geometry node acts as a container. It's in the scene level. Now if I dive into it by double clicking, we have a file. I can get rid of this. What I want to put in is a pop network right here. And this contains particle information. This warning signal, the black and yellow, means there's nothing in there yet. So what we're going to do now, after I dive in, we'll type in a location. And what that'll do, that will spit out some particles from this particular place here. Now, I want to put down a grid, so I'll go ahead and do that. Let me pull the grid down because I want to have these particles bounce off the grid. Now to do that, I'm going to go back, let me rename this thing particles right here. Okay, double click in there. Double click in the pop net. So what we can then do is let me go to the shelf tab under dry particles, click on collision. I'm going to select the object for collision because the particles were selected. I'm going to rewind it and test this out. So you see they're bouncing. If I click on this tool right here, the bottom right, this will play real time. A little bit on the slow side. We can actually add some forces to it. I'll type in force. And this gravity will simulate gravity right here by making it negative five or so. Rewind it, hit play. So that's pulling down. Oh, hold on make this visible there they are pulling the balls down actually they're not balls yet let's go take the pop net and throw down a sphere let me change this thing to a polygon let me also change the radius down smaller and I want to copy this sphere onto the particles and to do that I'll use a copy sop drag the sphere into the left node by the way you can tell which which tab something is if you hold down the middle mouse button it says primitive is a copy and this one is template to copy to so we're going to copy it to this particle network click on that and if I rewind it you see we have these bouncing particles so there's some fun variety there and again, if you want to scale some of the size of this down, make random sizes, we'd go back in here to the copy stamp. It comes in pretty handy. Now I'll call this scale. Make this random of the point. We'll make it divided by six or something. So once we have that, I can go back into the radius and type in stamp copy. This will be scale and 0.5 if it gets interrupted. Let me copy this whole thing. Paste that back into here. Paste this into the, the Z value. So now if we rewind it, we have some basic particles. And this is getting a little bit too slow, so I'll have to take real time off and play it. Alright, so you see you have some basic pop network here. Particles, pop network. And using a collision and a force. So that's it for the basic pop network.